FaceMaker is a new option in your Get Primitive menu. You can now do a Get Primitive model face. And this is the default face geometry that you will get. Now, one expected workflow with this would be to, for example, freeze that model right there and give it to your animator so you can start uh, creating a, a skeleton and animate directly this low resolution. So let's say that's exactly what we've done here. So we have here a, another face, all animated. And you can see that there's a mesh subdivision applied to it. While your animator is already working on the low resolution face model that you have, you can get another face using the same get primitive face and then start building the exact face that you need for. And this is a different uh, option that we have here in the face maker property page. So for example, you can modify the, the face length, face roundness. for a head size, chin size, cheek, nose position, mouth position, lips position as well. So you can see that there's a lot of um, option and it's very easy to create an approximate face that you're uh, the approximate face you're looking for. So the idea here is to get approximately the shape you're looking for. Once you're happy with the result, then you can freeze that geometry and go back to the animated model and simply use the shape that you've just created. That's exactly what we'll do now. So now I can just select my animated uh, character and just select shape key, pick the right, the new uh, geometry that I've created, and the picking session, and load that source directly in the mixer so you can see that I can jump to my new model.